At this point, you're probably familiar with the term self-care. And while when I say the word self-care, what might come to mind are face masks, massages, maybe manicures. And while these luxurious treatments are self-care, self-care also includes stepping up to complete those not so glamorous tasks like grocery shopping or cooking dinner after a long day of work, or maybe a bit of sacrifice in the name of getting enough sleep. And that could look like skipping an episode of your favorite show so that you get to bed at a reasonable hour. So the way that you care for your mind and your body closely impacts your eating habits. And when you have solid self-care practices, this is going to also help you eat in a balanced way, which is why in this video, I'm sharing five self-care practices that are going to improve your eating habits. Self-care practice number one, checking in with your body. When you take a moment to return to your body and notice how your physical body feels, notice whether you're relaxed, whether you're clenching your jaw, if you're feeling hunger pains, this act of checking in is going to help you gather information about yourself and become an expert of your own body so that you can care for yourself in the way that you need it most. So when you don't take the time to check in, the chances of you feeling disconnected or not knowing what you really need are higher. And if you just forget to check in, this is so easy because we have a lengthy to-do list or we have to, tear, we have to care for our children's needs or we have a deadline at work and we just don't have the time. But if you take an intentional pause to check in with yourself, this is a true act of self-care and it could only be a minute or two. All you have to do in this short time is give yourself a little breathing room so that you can gain clarity and make choices for your body that are going to lead to improved eating habits and over time are going to help improve your health. Self-care practice number two, relieving stress with grounding practices. So stress is one of the biggest roadblocks to eating well. And one of the reasons why is because when you're stressed out, you're not in the right state mentally or physically to make balanced food choices. And when you're feeling stressed, you may eat without even realizing that you're not hungry, or you're more likely to eat past the point of feeling full, or you may even forget to eat or wait too long to eat. Also, you'll find that when you're stressed, deciding what to eat becomes really difficult and overwhelming because your mind is just elsewhere. So stress is a part of life. We all need ways to de-stress regularly and taking part in grounding practices like resting, deep breathing, yoga is gonna offer clarity, peace of mind, and a reprieve from the stresses of daily life. And these grounding practices are going to act as an outlet that's gonna leave you less likely to reach for food as a way to relieve stress. Self-care practice number three, creating nourishing daily routines. Now, I know routines may sound boring, but they can actually be fun and they're super nourishing. So routines actually feel good when they aren't so rigid and there's this element of flexibility because then they offer a sense of consistency that's gonna leave you feeling balanced while also helping to reduce that decision fatigue about what you should be eating or when you need to work out or when you should go grocery shopping. So when you have these routines, it's built in self-care that's going to be an essential factor in forming healthier eating habits. Self-care practice number four, prioritizing your health needs first. From doctor's visits, to exercising, to taking a break to enjoy your lunch, to getting a good night's sleep. Putting yourself first might feel impossible or selfish, but when you decide that your health is a priority, and when you put your health first in the way that you deserve, you're no longer gonna be pouring from an empty cup, which just leads to burnout and resentment because you're putting everything and everyone else's needs before your own. But putting your health first might be a challenge at first, but when you finally do, you're gonna be on a path to healing your body, to improving your relationship with food, to feeling energized, and finally giving yourself an opportunity to care for yourself properly, which then only makes it easier to care for everything else. Self-care practice number five, being kind to your body. Beating yourself up about the extra pounds that you put on and the cellulite you see when you look in the mirror isn't gonna get you to eat any healthier. What will? the kindness that you show your body. Treating your body kindly is going to reflect onto your food choices and it's gonna be the key to improving your eating habits for the long term. This week for your mindful self-reflection, I want you to contemplate the question, what is one nourishing self-care practice you need the most right now? Leave your response in the comments below and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time.